Hi guys! Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Hani and today I'm gonna show you how to make a watermelon ice cream cake. This video is also part of a collaboration. I teamed up with Marlene from Montreal Confections. Marlene is going to show you today how to make these beautiful watermelon cookies. Be sure to check out her video. Link is down below or you can also click on an image and it will take you to her channel and to her tutorial. And now back to my watermelon ice cream cake. Guys, I love ice cream. I can't say it enough. Ice cream is my favorite. It's, it's the champion of all the desserts. So first we have to make the ice cream filling. So I'm using strawberry ice cream from a local shop and I let it soften up a little bit and I'm going to add mini chocolate chips. Chocolate chips will be the seeds that you see in the watermelon. I know there's a seedless watermelon available but I think the chocolate chips and strawberry ice cream are perfect fit. So once you are ready you can layer this into a baking pan. This is a small quarter sheet pan so I'm going to spread it and just flatten it out in one layer. I'm going to put this into the freezer until firm. It may take up to four hours or maybe a little longer depending on how your freezer works. Once it's all solid again I'm going to cut out rounds using a metal cutter Sandwich the rounds together to form a long log. Press it together and then wrap it in either plastic wrap or you can use wax paper and stick it back into the freezer. Now we can make the sponge cake. First prepare your pan by spraying it with non-stick spray and lining it with parchment paper. For the actual cake you're going to need whole eggs, all-purpose flour, I'm also going to add a little bit of baking powder, granulated sugar and vanilla extract. Start by separating egg whites and egg yolks. When making the meringue, working with egg whites. Make sure that the bowl you're using is super clean. I like to wipe it with vinegar. Add a little bit of salt and then beat on high until soft peaks are formed and then gradually add about half of the granulated sugar and beat until stiff peaks are formed. Now we can add remaining sugar to the egg yolks and beat on high until doubled in volume and pale in color. Don't forget to add splash of vanilla extract and beat well. I'm going to sift about one third of the flour into the egg yolk mixture and I'm going to fold it in and then I'm going to add about one third of meringue, fold it in and then we're going to repeat until we are done. Once your batter is ready, reserve about quarter cup of batter into a small dish and then color both with green food coloring. I'm coloring the larger portion with lime green or um, electric green and the smaller portion with leaf green. So that's a little darker green. We're going to use dark green to make the stripes. Put the batter in a piping bag Cut a small hole using scissors and then we can pipe the stripes. I'm going to stick this into the freezer for 5 minutes and then we can spread the remaining batter on the top. 
I'm going to bake this at 350 degrees of Fahrenheit for about 12-15 minutes until toothpick inserted in the center comes out clean. While it's baking, prepare your work surface, line it with wax paper and dust it with powdered sugar. Run a small spatula along the edges to release the cake. And then invert it onto the wax paper dusted with powdered sugar. Peel off the parchment paper and I'm going to flip it again so the pattern is on the bottom. Now I'm going to trim the ends a little bit so it fits nicely into my cake pan and I'm going to stick it there and let it cool in a pan. I'm taping the ends shut so it shapes nicely For the white filling I'm using cream cheese, heavy cream and powdered sugar and a little bit of vanilla extract. So I'm beating the heavy cream until stiff peaks are formed and then you're gonna beat the cream cheese until smooth, add powdered sugar and vanilla extract as well. Now start by adding a little bit of heavy cream into the cream cheese and fold it in and then continue until you are done. Once the cake cools, you can peel off the tape and then I'm gonna layer another piece of wax paper underneath so we can cover the cake once it's done. Take the white filling and spread it on the cake. You wanna go all the way up the sides. Now if you don't wanna bother with making this filling, you can always use vanilla ice cream just soften it up a little bit. I like this filling because it's a little tangy from the cream cheese. Now you can take out that strawberry ice cream log we made and press it down a little bit so the white filling comes up the sides. I'm going to secure it with the wax paper and put it back into the freezer overnight until firm. Once uh, frozen again, you can peel off the wax paper, unmold it and serve it at your party. I love frozen desserts. Actually when I make cookies, like chocolate chip cookies, I also like those frozen. Yeah, I don't know why, but that's the thing. I love frozen stuff. Although I don't like ice cubes in my drinks. Isn't that weird? So just peel off the wax paper. It may tear a little bit, but it's okay. Just work with it a little bit and then you can slice it. You could actually slice it and have it sliced in your freezer. Let's see what it looks like inside. I think it turned out really cute and it was so good guys. I hope you will give this recipe a go. And if you are ready for more watermelon ideas, be sure to check out how to make these beautiful cookies from Montreal Confections. 
link is posted down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Let's have a look what it looks like inside. I think it turned out so pretty and it was so good guys. So I hope you will so so so. Yeah I know I say so a lot so what. <laughs>